Hello and welcome back to the Football Pyramid after 37, I think 38 episodes maybe. It is the final between Chris Hamill and Michael McCubbin. You know the drill by now. They'll be given eight questions. They've got three lifelines and whoever progresses furthest up the Football Pyramid will be the champion. Chris Hamill, you've had a topsy-turvy morning, let's say. Yes. Has that affected you going into this huge clash? Toilet was broken, was flushing throughout the night. It disturbed my sleep, so I'm not fully mm. zen coming into this tie, but it's been fixed. It does mean that I'm unwashed for the second consecutive episode of the Football Pyramid. <laughs> so maybe that was part of my luck against Sonny, all right? Maybe. I'm not gonna wash until I win this final. I like it, I like it. Great commitment there. McCubbs, how are you feeling? Are you feeling a bit zen-like, Man United scoring nine? Feeling good yeah. going into another final? Uh, similar to Chris, I, I was I was up last night as well, but I think it was more to do Ooh. with foxes outside my window doing all sorts of naughty things. Woof. Um, <laughs> But uh, but yeah, uh, I'm I'm ready. I guess I'm ready. I'm, I'm pumped up having <laughs> watched having watched uh, Sunny and Chris's semi final. I was I was written for Sunny. Not gonna lie, uh, <laughs> he's a far more beatable opponent. Uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a tough one today. I can feel it. It's gonna be it's gonna come down to the wire. I think it could do. It could well do. Chris, uh, seeing as you've had the tougher morning with your Lou, I'm gonna give you the choice of left or right oh, hand thanks, with the pen lid. Would you like left or right? I'm going to go for the left. It is the right, actually, McCubbs. Ooh. Would you like to go first or second? Well, I think I've got to, I've got to take the initiative. I'm going to go first. Okay, Correct here we on. go. Kicking off the show for McCubbs, we've got a question from Spencer underscore T7. What is the nickname of Premier League side Leicester City? The Coyotes, the Tigers, the Foxes or the Chickens? That is the Foxes, Dukes. Correct. You escape those well Foxes, done. McCubbs. I Shagging can't. outside, yeah, hang out <laughs> opening the show, brilliant. Very Love strange it. that. Maybe Shout out foxes. They do make one hell of a noise. Chris, your question comes in from Dave Carabini. What is the colour of England's home shirt? Green, blue, orange or white? White. Correct, well done, going up to League 2, no errors so far. McCubbs, your question comes in from St Stephen Trang 93. What was the name of Diego Maradona's infamous goal against England at the 1986 when he punched her over P Peter Shilton? A, the hand of the devil, B, the hand of God, C, the goal of the century, or D, fist of fury? Um, I, don't, I didn't hear you say hand of God in that. I'm assuming you did. Um, but yeah, that was B. God. That was B. Okay, cool. Yeah, at the 1986. Peter Shilton in the mud. Love it. Are you, are you going with uh, hand of God, McCubbs? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going with the hand of God. Correct. Many people would say the hand of the Diego. devil, but well done. Mm. Top uh, He was a god. He was a god. He was a god. He is a god. Hamel, your question comes in from Silvio Barnes. What is Alison, the Liverpool keeper's last name? A. Bender, B. Becker, C. Decker, or D. Beaker? Beaker. <laughs> Tracy Beaker. <laughs> so Brazilian cousin. <laughs> it's, of course, Becker, which is really funny, isn't it? Correct, well done. You're going up to League One. It is not Bender. McCubbs, your question comes in from Zero T Series of O's. Who won the PFA Player of the Year Award in 2019-20? Henderson, Fred, KDB or Salah? Fred's an uh, interesting shout there. Um, it was, I believe, KDB. Locking that in? Yes. Correct, well done. You're going up to the Championship. Solid start from McCubbs. Can Hamill join him? His question comes in from Chris Duckworth. What country did the <laughs> what country did the Calciopoli scandal take place in? Italy, 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 England, Germany, Spain. You've gone with Italy, and you Confident. are correct. Well done. Into the even champ. Italian scandals sound you know so much more intriguing than ours, don't they? Calciopoli is a lovely word. Rolls off the top. It really is. What actually. do we have? What was that? What was that one called where those old boys broke into that diamond vault? Oh, oh yeah. That was, the great, though. that was just called the Great Heist, wasn't it? Oh, I can't remember actually. No, no, it happened recently, but still doesn't doesn't yeah. it's quite. When they drove, when when they drove a car into the, yeah into that vault, something like that. Crop. <laughs> something like they, that. They, they've made a film about that though, I think, haven't they? Like a kind of feel good film. Yeah, they have. Ray yeah. Winston's definitely in it. Yeah, surely. For sure. I bet it's got <laughs> um... getting the old band back together. McCubbs, your question comes from Haroldinho Take. The fastest Premier League goal was scored after 7.69 seconds. But who scored it? Shane Long, Sadio Mane, Theo Walcott, or Demba Barr? Oh, God. The Hatton something heist. Hatton. Uh, the Hatton, Hatton market heist. 
Hatton Hat Cross, <laughs> was it? Hatton Cross? This is the real quiz. <laughs> Back to the fastest goal in the Cubs. So, so I say fa- fastest goal. So the, the, the options are Shane Long, Sadio Dem- Mane, Sadio Mane, Theo Hatton Walcott, Garden. or Demba Barr. Hatton Garden. Hatton yes! Garden. God, was it recently? I think I thought Shane didn't Shane Long have it, and then did someone break it? God, I cannot think because I think it might have been broken this season, right? But then I feel like the Shane Long one is like quite obvious. Oh God, um, I'm gonna have to go. You know what? I'm actually got this is the championship, isn't it? But I'm actually gonna have to go for a clue here because I don't want to get this question wrong. Okay. Um, Your clue no, no. is it was scored for Southampton versus Watford in the 2018-19 season. Okay. In that case, really sensible quizzing. That's got to be um, that's got to be Shane Long, hasn't it? McCubs, you were in the championship. You used your clue with gone, you've gone with Shane Long, and you were right. Well done. You're moving up to the Premier League. Are, are you I a little thought, bit disappointed you used the clue? I thought it had been broken this season by someone. But no. no the fastest goal in top five league history was scored this season in Serie A, but okay, maybe don't think it happened in. Don't think it happened. Is that in the Rafa, Rafa Leal. Indeed. Do yeah. I get a bonus point for that? No, but you get my respect. Chris, your question comes in from Salah Ra- Rawashte 2. Harry Kane won the World Cup Golden Boot, but how many goals did he score? Four, five, six, or seven? Um, one against... Was it four against Panama? I think it's five. I, thi- uh, I think the life is going to come out. But I'm not at 100%. We worked a lot of this World Cup, didn't we? So my prevailing sort of like memory is just kissing the top of Emil Heskey's head that's all I remember it's a great head didn't he score the winner against was it Tunisia in the opening well in the opening game and then who scored against Sweden I, th- I think it's five dude I'm gonna go five Chris you were in the championship you've gone with B5 and you were wrong I'm afraid Ooh. oh no it was six well, did he score yeah. both against Tunisia then he scored one against Tunisia, three against Panama. Can't remember where the other ones were. Maybe one against... No, Sweden was Deli Ali. I can't remember, but it's definitely six. <laughs> I mean, he scored one against Tunisia, then it's five, I think. Not going to lie. He scored both yeah. against Tunisia, three against Panama. And then one against oh, Tunisia, right? Do you know what it one is? One against, against Colombia. T- do you know what it is against Tunisia? It was a Carl Walker own goal, wasn't it? And I remember it as a Carl Walker goal. Uh. Uh. Anyway, Not plenty yet. of time to recover. McCubbs is also down a lifeline, so who knows what could happen. Sure. Yeah. McCubbs, your question comes in from Salah Rawash Day 2 in the Premier League. What was Sam Allardyce's previous job before West Brom? England, West Ham, Everton or Crystal Palace? Oh, uh, England, West Ham, Crystal Palace. Oh, uh, sorry. It, well, he's at West Brom, England, Crystal Palace, West Ham or... Everton. Everton. Oh, um... Oh, it must have been Everton, right? Think about it. 2016. Yeah, because he, yeah, because he was at Everton until 2018. I don't think he's been at the club since then. So I'm going to say, or did he go? Or did he go straight to Crystal Palace after Everton? Oh, he's in a I bit of a twister. Nah, I, I think I'm going to go for Everton. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Everton. Locking that in. Yes. The Cubs. You were in the Premier League. You initially thought Everton. You then became a little bit unsure, but you went with Everton. And you're right. Well done. You're moving up to the Europa Oof. League. I'm doubting myself so much today. It's, the, it's those final <laughs> It's that nerves. lack of sleep. It's those foxes. It's a little, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all of it at once. Okay, so much. Chris, the comeback needs to start now. Your question comes Come in from Thomas O'Connell. Who infamously threw pizza at Sir Alex Ferguson in October 2004? Cesc Fabregas. Locking that in? Yeah. Correct. Well done. Yeah. You're back on track. You're back up to the championship. We come in. Yeah. Your question comes in from Cal Hedaria. Which club was knocked out of the Champions League by the eventual champions seven times since 2010? Which includes 2010, I've got to say. Mm. Juventus, Man City, Atletico Madrid or Bayern? My gut before you said any of those was Bayern. Um, but that would mean that they've... Because they've won... So, so you say since 2010? Yeah, but includes 2010. Includes 2010. So, I mean, they were knocked out in 2010 by Inter in the final. So that was um, that. was that. And then 2011, I don't know, that, did Barca beat them? They may have done. Um, 2012, they would lost to Chelsea in the final. Oh God, that's pretty mad because they've won it twice in the last 10 years. Um, this is a Premier League question or Europa This is Europa League. League. Do I lose another lifeline this time? So what is it? Bayern Munich, Juventus... 
Uh, Juventus, Man City. Man City, Atletico Madrid or Bayern? My gut is saying Bayern and I kind of want to trust my gut on this one. None of those, none of those teams were knocked out by Bayern Munich the last year which already knocks one off. So, yeah, I'm going to go for Bayern. McCubs, you were in the Europa League. You've gone with D Bayern Munich. And you're going up to the Champions yes, League. Yes, get in. Really good quiz, Love it. Matt. Yeah, they lost to Liverpool. I think they've lost to a Barca, Real Madrid a few times. They obviously lost to Inter Milan. A lot of bad luck for Bayern. Right, Chris, you're in the Championship. Mm. McCubbin's quizzing really well, but you, all you can do is get your answers right from now. Your question comes in from Danny underscore Maroki. Who scored both goals in the 2010 Champions League final? A. Wesley Schneider, B. Samuel Eto, C. Diego Milito, or D. Dejan Stankovic? It's Diego Milito, who was absolutely ruthless on that edition of FIFA, by the way. He was indeed. And Chris, you've, you've gone with C. Diego Milito. And your memory serves you right. You're going up to the Premier League. Well done. Yeah. Right, McCubbs, could you complete the show in the finals? That'd be really impressive. Your question comes in from Edward Seniev. Who is the oldest goal scorer in Champions League history? A. Ryan Giggs, B. Pipo Inzaghi, C. Francesco Totti, or D. Javier Zanetti? Oh man, that's a killer question. <laughs> that is a killer you, question. How dare you pronounce Francesco like that as well, Diego? Fran what did I say? Francesco. Oh, did I? My Francesco, bad. Mate. Sorry, Francesco. I think I'm going to have to get in a 50-50 on this, you know, or do I phone a friend? Will anyone know this? Probably not. I'm going to go 50-50, Diggs. I think I need it. Okay. Your 50-50 is Giggs, eh? Or Totti? Thing is, did Roma even play much in the in his final years in the Champions League? I feel like I don't really remember him all that much. And he also... And, did, I don't, and I also don't think Totti played to as great an age as Giggs did. Um, and I seem to remember Giggs scoring maybe in that kind of season under Moyes would make sense. Because um, I think United were actually quite good in the Champions League that season under Moyes, <laughs> despite being rubbish in the league. Quarterfinals. Um, indeed. As he put in indeed. his uh, exit, exit letter. Um, exactly, yeah. Right, McCubbs, what are you yeah. thinking? Misunderstood, wasn't he, Moyes? Um, all right, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to go for gigs. I'm going to go for gigs. Seems like the M sort of thing he'd do. McCubbs, you were in the Champions League. You needed this right to get a question to complete the show. You've gone with gigs. And you were wrong, I'm no! afraid. It was Totti. No. Which... Francesco. <laughs> Fra Francesco, which opens the door <laughs> to Hamill. Big Come time. Back. Pressure's on Hamill. Your question, Hamill, in the Premier League comes in from T. Chambers 94. Oh, yeah. Two players have scored a hat trick as a substitute for Man United Marcus Rashford and one other player. Name them A. Ruud van Nistelrooy, B. Wayne Rooney, C. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, or D. Cristiano Ronaldo. Not Ronaldo. He only scored one hat trick for Man United. That was against Newcastle, and he started. Knowledge. Ruud van Nistelrooy was very, very rarely a substitute. Like he, he was f notoriously arsy, even being hauled off with like five, ten minutes left. So I'd be v extremely surprised if it was him. And he also featured in the last quiz I was on. <laughs> Wayne Rooney, as a sub, a hat trick as a sub. <sighs> He certainly featured as a sub, didn't he? I'm not dismissing Wayne, but he wasn't exactly in free scoring form in his like in his last four seasons at United, was he? Post the whole Chelsea and City debacle, didn't really didn't really score an awful lot in the league. But then again, you know, cup competitions. Okay, let's use a couple of lifelines. Can we go through? Have I used a clue yet? You haven't used any. Oh right, that's good. Wow. I'll go for a clue, please. Your clue is, they were nicknamed the Baby-Faced Assassin. Oh, Ollie. Yeah, right. Locking I mean, that, that, was, that was an that easy was, question. <laughs> that was, the, that was, was the instinct, right? But Ollie seems so obvious that I felt like I was being tripped up. Yeah. Locking it's that in. It's it's Correct. Because it was a, a very obvious question placed late in the uh, placed very late in the game. Mm. Not that's really. A League One level question, that. That's Premier League level. McCubbin, you are in the Europa League. Chris is in the Europa League. The stakes couldn't be higher. Your question comes in from Andre 11076764. 
Aubameyang has played for four different Ligue 1 teams. Which one has he played for the most recently? Monaco, Saint-Étienne, Sporting Dijon or Lille? Is this the final question of the, the whole thing? This is your final question, yes. Yeah. But I think it might be Saint-Étienne, but um, I'll, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to give George a ring to see okay. if he can um, let me know because I feel like he'll, he'll know this he'll, as an Aubameyang fan. He'll help out on his, he on his hero. Last, last, week, uh, last week he had a new phone so I didn't... Oh. He was struggling to pick up calls but let's see. That's what he told you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> four, four. Oh no. Rejected. Mate, that is a rejection as well. That's yeah. not even... He's not even let that ring out. No. Rude. How rude. All right. Okay, in which case, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go for um, uh, another Football Daily member who, um, I'm not sure we'll pick up the phone, but we'll see, Pat, Patrick Van Straat. He's on his course on this on this day, so you can't All ring him. All the comments oh, really? uh, are about how we don't ring Pat, and it's because he wouldn't pick up. He wouldn't pick up, him. and he, is also, he does a course on a Wednesday, to be fair. <laughs> mm, okay. um, um, anyone else? Or do you want to just back yourself? Well, no, because it's my last question, isn't it? So there's no, I may as well use it. All right. Um, I'm trying to think who else will have like a knowledge of Pierre Emerick Aubameyang's uh, career. Who scripted the sort of down uh, the the whole Aubameyang Arsenal fiasco? Football Daily explained, mate. That don't might know. be a good route to go down. Was that was that? I don't even remember that video coming out. Me neither. Um, oh, that was me. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> what about Dave Jackson? I don't think Dave Jackson's going to know, man. I just don't think he'll know. Let's get Henry on the phone. Let's get Henry on the phone. Henry Hill. Good all rounder, Henry. Good all rounder. Yeah, he is a good all rounder. Hello, mate. Henry, you are live on the football pyramid. Oh, about time. It about is. Time th someone me. It is. Well, you didn't pick up last week. Um, <laughs> it is the final, and this is McCubbin's final question. The question is Abemiang has played for four different Liga teams. Which one has he played for most recently? Monaco, Saint Etienne, Sporting Dijon. Or Lille? St Etienne. Yeah? Are you 100% sure on that? <laughs> that's, who they, that's who Dortmund signed him from, St Etienne. Yeah. There we go, McCubbs. He's pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. That was my gut feeling as well. Um, and he hasn't played for... He hasn't done anything like that since Dortmund, has he? He went Dortmund, then he went to Arsenal. So, um, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll go for St Etienne. McCubbs, you were in the Europa League. You've gone with St Etienne. And you're right, well yes. done. Thanks, Henry. Finishing the Champions League. Good work, Henry. Thanks, man. Okay. Chris. Yo. You need this to take it to a fastest finger first. Your question, your question even, comes in from Nicolas Morales. Which player was sent off in the 2010 World Cup final? Nigel de Jong, Johnny Heitinger, Dirk Hout, or Giovanni von Bronckhorst? Not de Jong, because famously or infamously, he didn't get sent off for that. Mm -hmm. A Hong Kong fooey kick. My instinct was Johnny Heitinger, aka. Oh no, was it him that was called Concrete? Or was that Ron Vlar? Don't know. Doesn't matter. It was an incredibly forgettable game, that wasn't it? Not a good one. Yeah, I think I've said it a few times on Football Daily. I was in, I was in Zante. I landed in Zante when, when that <laughs> final was happening, and I just remember my eyes, like slowly closing as Iniesta rolled it in. Like I was fighting to stay awake the whole time. Um, I'm gonna have to go for 50-50. Your 50-50 is Nigel de Jong or Johnny Heitinger. So, okay, that plays into my instincts, right? Um, yeah, Johnny Heitinger. Locking that in? Yes, please, mate. Chris, you needed to get this right to take it to a fastest finger first. You've gone with B, Johnny Heitinger. And it's a shootout. Congratulations. <laughs> right. So, oh, no. It comes down to this. McCubbs, if only you'd gone uh. with Totty. Oh no. Great recovery from Chris. It comes down. It couldn't be better, really. You couldn't have scripted it. Yeah, I okay. got So, I need to know Stupid each of your noise for your fastest finger first. So, McCubbs, what is your noise going to be? As, as always, just a simple bang. Okay. Chris, what's going to be your noise? I'm going to go cane. Okay. Cane. To make it clear, I need to hear the noise before you answer. The question comes in from Lazjos8 underscore to decide the football pyramid season one. What an honour for Lazjos. In which season... Did Lionel Messi make his debut for FC Barcelona in La Liga? Bang. Go for it. 2004-5. McCubbs, that is impressive. Mate, he's yes. a Catalan. He's our Catalan. Yeah. Well <laughs> done. That was speaking you know, towards me, that. 
It's come up trumps there at the end. Mate, you know, roll the dice. That is I mean, fair play. Unbelievable work from the Cubs just to have it off the bat like that. Fair I think, play. I think he did. He... I think he did. Yeah, I think he came on as a sub in maybe the last game of that season. He made like his. Yeah, he made his first appearances in 2003-04, but his La Liga debut was in 2004-05. Wow. McCubs, you are yeah. our football pyramid champion. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Yeah, good, good. I went into that uh, fastest finger first, convinced that Hammer was definitely going to get it. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I surprised myself there. Um, and yeah, yeah, good quizzing all round, good final. Um, Happy yeah. days. Congratulations to Hamill on uh, on the silver medal. Yeah, um, another one. Won't be that much of a consolation. But another I'm sure... one. He keeps uh, McCubbin keeps doing me in finals. This is Stat Wars, the champions, the Stat final. Champions. This is. You this you is... did beat me in the league final once, I think. So I did beat you in the league <laughs> final. It's not. It's not. Trading blows, mate. Like Pep and Pep and Klopp in exactly. the Bundesliga. The glory is. I love yeah. it. Ali Frazier, two prize fighters. Guys, it's been an awesome, <laughs> awesome final. Just to fill you in, viewers, we're going to give the Football Pyramid a little break now to build up for season two. So for the next few weeks, watch out for a different style of content coming out on a Saturday. So don't send me your questions on Twitter and Instagram for the next few weeks. We'll let you know when season two is coming back. Congratulations to Michael McCubbin for being our season one champion. Go check out yesterday's Continental Club on Eurofootball Daily. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.